Hi everyone, welcome to your full moon in Taurus, lunar eclipse tower reading. I'm Lauren with the Clarity Care. Welcome back. Uh, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. If you like this reading, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you like, if it resonated for you, and come on and join my tribe here on YouTube. I'm back doing my monthlies. Um, I have been a little distracted, guys. Some of you may know, some of you may not, that we're, we're preparing for my mom's end-of-life care. She has dementia, and it's just been uh, really gobbling up a lot of my time. Um, and even emotionally, you know, um, it's, it, it's been difficult. Um, but I have a lot of support. My brothers are amazing. I'm on the other side of the country, though. Um, and just want to mention, I want to thank everybody that's donated f to my mom's meal train. Um, I love you. Thank you so much. Um, please, prayers anytime. Her name is Kay would be really greatly appreciated as well in the description box below if you feel so inclined my cousin created the meal train for her and um i am just so honored and so grateful uh, for all the donations because i'm not there and this this gives me the opportunity to manage her meals and manage her personal items and my cousin shout out to kim um i love you so much she will you know, go to the supermarket for me. She will pick up what my mom needs and run over and visit with her. So I'm so grateful and thank you very much. Um, so with that being said, enough about me, but I just, I just want you guys to know that I am here. I've just been a little distracted, um, but we're moving forward. Okay. So this full moon eclipse in Taurus is, could be pretty heavy duty, right? And there's uh, we still we're still in Scorpio season uh, three planets in Scorpio so whew, we could be facing some shadow stuff that could be bump, you know bubbling up and you're like what is this going on what is this all about face it guys you know because really really look at what it is maybe you don't like about yourself and love yourself and accept right this is about accepting we all have dark and light in us we all have have memories that bubble up and we're like oh i can't believe i did that or how do i heal that and you know it's about loving yourself first and foremost and loving your pain and loving your mistakes because we're all just here on this wild ride to meet our destiny so you know we're pulled in several different directions and we have to take courage right this is what it's all about is releasing anything below that vibrational frequency of 200 and moving up the food chain of life resonating at at least 350 if you can right so you can move into this love peace and joy um, and you do that in a lot of different ways and I've shared that information I got links below uh, you can follow me over on um, Instagram I have free PDFs you can download guys about how you can resonate higher through tapping exercise the body mind connection I have an ebook uh, with all that being said though it's really really important though because I think this is so powerful that you can actually you can actually write any karmic debt that you have that's how powerful this eclipse can be in combination with Scorpio season and all these planets so keep that in mind um, but let, let's just get into the cards I meditated shuffled bottom of the deck overall energy you have the star card so beautiful energy uh, moving into a time where maybe you might be feeling hopeful I would definitely say that that needs to be your attitude um, even though things might seem shitty um, or, you know, maybe not going your way. I mean, the star card, though, is is really the hope and promise of your future. This is, you know, setting those seeds of intention so you can manifest what you want. It's my wish card. So stay very hopeful and wishful about what you want. Maybe write that down, figure out what that is. Um, there is a sense of re renewed hope and optimism here for your future coming in. And again, these alignments, these energies, they're, it's up to you to grab a hold sorry there's something floating here um to to uh, take advantage of of the shifts in the energy right um so they're energetic patterns right so we can align and see and it's easier to align with these energetic patterns to create the shifts that you want when your vibration is higher right so that goes back to that again but with that being said growth expansion healing um, if you've been struggling maybe with some health issues, this is the hope and promise that, you know, the next six months could be really super positive for you, right? Because these eclipses can last six months. 
uh, the effects. You know, it's not just a traditional full moon where you're cycling through the lunar phase. This is a six-month shift in your life. So hope and optimism is here for your future. Love, love, love it. Um, your success coming is the Four of Cups. Okay. Um, maybe you're bored, you know. This is a time to really pay attention for any offers and opportunities coming your way that maybe you're not paying attention to. Um, there is definitely something coming in for you. Four of Cups is an offer. You see how God is shining his light and this is his hand, right? And he's handing you some kind of bowl or some kind of gift or some type of thing that you need based on the situation of your life and you're not really paying attention, right? So I think it's really critical that you take the time out once again to really, right, hone in on what your hopes and wishes are for the future. And I'm sorry, I have my window open. <laughs> it's gorgeous here in Vegas. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, there's some outside noises because I leave the windows open. Sorry, guys. But with that being said, this is um, the divine nudge. You know, it's like God is, come on, let's go. <laughs> if you so choose uh, to take on this mission, right? So I'm, I'm loving it. It's, it's, it's. You recognizing that maybe you have other gifts and talents as well and you've been focused over here and maybe, you know, I did a huge career shift recently as well. So something to consider and that's not always easy, you know, but everything's changing in today's day and age. I mean, um, there's a lot of interesting jobs out there, by the way. <laughs> I'm just like really surprised, you know, um, you know, what is one person's trash could be another person's, you know, treasure. So. If you're looking for a job, if you're looking for a major life change, and th this will be the, the season to do it. I think it would work in your favor. Um, card number two, what do we have here? How to set your intention, what you need to do. So you got a four. This is your second four, yeah? So this is all about your foundation, okay? Your financial stability, very Torian, right? Um, so this could be maybe a struggle to you know, create this new success coming in. You know, the four of wands can, you see how she's holding on to this purse, right? So she's been holding back, you know, she, maybe you feel like you haven't been able to live the life that you want. Maybe finances have been difficult, right? So I would say set the intention, right, to level up. That's what the four of pentacles is all about. It's leveling up your game, baby, and you can do it. No more holding back. It's a very, very positive energy. So this could also pertain to real estate. Maybe some of you might, you know, uh, c consider moving. That could be part of the whole equation of taking it on a new career or a new job. Maybe it calls for you to leave, you know, move from state to state or something like that. Um, so just don't hold on too tight. I, I know um, we tend to do that, like if we feel the lack of abundance, but sometimes that creates more of a blockage, right? More of an abundance block. You want to be open, right? Uh, create a little beautiful altar for yourself. Um, whatever resonates for you, even burning a green candle would be really exciting. All right, so with that being said, moving on. What to avoid? Two of Wands. Projecting too far into the future, maybe. Two of Wands. What to avoid? Um... Two of Wands is... is um, Looking at your long-term goals, walking down a brand new path. Okay, this is about not putting a lot of pressure on yourself, okay, because maybe you are at a crossroads, this lunar cycle, and I think what it's saying is that you need to consider carefully the moves that you want to make. Well, no kidding, you got the star card here, so make sure, you know what they say, be careful what you wish for, right? So this is really about tapping deep within yourself to really make those big time decisions um, about what you really want because you're manifesting, you know. You have the ace behind you and now you're like, okay, now what? You know, it's like you have one foot in the future and one foot in the past, right? But I would consider all your options, okay? Um, and don't put your notes up at anything that maybe you think is not worthy of your time, Okay, because you, you're too focused on, oh, I want this. This is the only thing I'll ever consider in my life. When you could have an opportunity coming over here, and I would hate to see you miss the boat. So be open. Be open to all the possibilities. This is a huge illumination, right, of how you set the very foundation of your life. Taurus brings in, you know, um, this energy of safety and security. And it's crazy because you have two fours here, right? Um, 
So that tells you right there that this is definitely going to be the main focus for the next six months. Um, okay, what is your challenge, the hermit? Yep, oh my God, guys, so the hermit. This is taking that internal journey to make the decision about your new path in life. Wow, this is carving out a new path and really considering what do I want? What do I want? This is going into hermit mode, right? Focusing in on your hopes, wishes, and your desires for what it is you really want to do. Call me for a career reading. <laughs> Call me for a life purpose reading. I'm, I'm serious because it's so critical uh, at this juncture in this day and age where we are right now, uh, even on an evolutionary basis that we all come to terms with why we're here. And instead of like fighting, you know, what's maybe been difficult in your life or the confusion, it's very easily solved by looking at your astrology chart. Um, everything is in there for you. It's the blueprint of your life. So it's time for you to really take that deep dive in to find your purpose, to find your answers from within. Um, this is, you know, the solitude, the self-reflection, the healing, the healing. See, there's healing that's coming in for you as well. I was picking up on that earlier. This could be some uh, sickness or ailment or uh, not necessarily for all of you, but this is, uh, you know, even through simple things like emotional care, um, doesn't necessarily have to be a sickness, a physical sickness, right? Some, some, so many people are so stressed out right now, but see, that's how disease sets in, right? You, you need some downtime. You need to, to meditate. You need to take 10 minutes, do some breathing every day. I have videos for you probably on my other channel that might help you do some uh, meditations every day. It's a lot easier to do a guided meditation um, if, if that helps you at all. So the, the lantern in, in the significance of the lantern right here in the Hermit card is God showing you the way, is showing you the light, showing you the path, right? to enlightenment, to carving out this brand new path for yourself. Um, but, you know, you, you got to take the time out, right, without any distractions. <laughs> Quiet time. <laughs> Listening, right, connecting with your spirit guides. I have a spirit guide e-course you can take. It's pretty powerful. Um, I'm just plugging along here for myself, but I'm sorry. I mean, it's just so important right now that we really all come to center of who we really are. One person okay, that reaches at least the stage of 350 hertz, okay, can heal 90,000 people, can spread the light to 90,000 people. So the higher up the food chain we go, the more people we can help and create the real shift, vibrationally speaking, in this world that we, we really need. And we, we need all the light workers, um, all the love that we can get right now for everybody and humanity as a whole, okay? Um, so spend some time in nature. might be, inspire you to take five minutes out to do some grounding, right? Connecting with the earth, Mother Earth. That's all about Taurus, right? Um, getting your feet, you know, in some dirt, going barefoot, earthing, they call it. Uh, sitting in the grass, leaning up against a tree, hugging a tree. <laughs> Trees are vibrationally so powerful and they take our pain away, right? So you tree huggers out there, you get it. For the ones that don't believe, go give it a try because it is really quite powerful. Pine trees take uh, emotional pain away. Um, and all you need to do is is <laughs> lean up against it and ask for its help, right? Uh, connecting with nature is like the easiest way to meditate. It's the easiest way to come back to source. So give it a try. Give it a try, right? So you're moving in a new direction. You're hopeful. You're, you're going to consider all your options. And the Hermit card here is about um, allowing, uh, allow the changes to come in. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Okay, because this is your challenge. This is your challenge, okay, to see things maybe with a different perspective, okay, maybe for the first time in a long time, um, and consider all your options. Um, shifts that will help you. So this is your advice card. You got the Five of Cups. Uh, you have time to get over yourself, you know. I mean, <laughs> Five of Cups can be, you know, you're just focused on the negative, focused on what's you know, not working in your life, being pessimistic, and this may not apply to all of you, but your advice is to really try to shift and, and look at this opportunity 
uh, look at your situation as an opportunity. Even if you've been emotionally burned and you're emotionally hurt and you're tired and you're trying to build, just keep going. Being hopeful and positive is what's going to help you get through uh, this next eclipse, okay? Look at what you do have, right? Gratitude, maybe doing a gratitude journal. Um, because look what's behind you. You know, there's these gems. And oh my God, this is my spirit guide was just saying, Ooh, baby, baby, look at this bowl, right? It's right here. Oh my God, that's a trip. You see that? You see this bowl? There it is, baby. So you just need to turn around. You just need to turn around and trust yourself. God is giving you a gift here for what you want, what you really want to manifest in your life, but only you can really make that happen. Whoa, that was amazing and powerful. Your outcome, message from the universe, the sun. <laughs> The sun will shine again. Um, wow. Trust in yourself. Oh, my God. This is so amazing. The sun card is like my favorite card in the deck. I mean, of course, it's 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 the happiest card in the deck. You got the, the, the night and the day here, you know. So night and day, night and day, night and day, you're going to see these changes uh, unfolding in your life. So, oh, my God. That's so amazing. Uh, this is a card of happiness, joy, celebration. Um, you being in the spotlight, I feel like for for some of you, like you will be pleasantly surprised, you know, because the star card are in one end of the spectrum is you being the star, you becoming the star, and then you're shining in the spotlight with the sun. I mean, this is some really, really good stuff here. Public recognition, negating all negative energy, re re releasing this restrictive energy right of the the scorpionic uh, karmic debt blah, heavy energy kind of crap right because <laughs> you're going to raise your vibration you're going to do some tapping you're going to spend some time in nature you're going to do some yoga right you're going to call me for a reading and you're going to feel better and have a new direction okay and think about it we're almost at the end of the year so this would be a great time to really kind of you know get your head together do a year ahead reading i just did one for one of my clients the other day and she's really excited we looked 12 months ahead, right, um, of what's going to be happening for her. So you could always do something like that as well, and we can dig in. I mean, I think it's really, really amazing. What else is going on? Jupiter's T-squaring. Um, so that's the other thing that could be really weird, and it depends, like, on where your head is because, right, Jupiter expands the energy of the eclipse. So if you're not in a good place, it could expand this, right, opposed to expanding the sun. So keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. You want to kind of watch your P's and Q's a little bit as far as really where your head is, right? And we all have shitty bad days, but the, tomorrow's always a new day, right? Tomorrow's a new day to follow your footsteps, follow your destiny uh, for your um, for your future, right? For, for why you're really here, understand why you're here, and to learn to go with the flow and connect here deeply on a soul level, right? It's all about connecting to the heart. It's all about connecting to your soul. Why is your soul here? What's going to happen on your, your, your deathbed, okay? What can you really say about it? When you look back on your life, and I know this sounds a little heavy duty, right, for a full moon reading, but it is eclipse season. So this is like we need to get back to, need to come back home. We need to come back home, right? No matter how shitty it is or how horrible you might be feeling about a particular situation, we have the power to create, right, our destiny, right? Root chakra is going to also be very critical here, right? Because that's, that's the first chakra that's uh, related very strongly to Taurus. So that goes back to the grounding and spending time in nature and the financial security. So it looks like you're going to possibly get a new job. Uh, don't look too far into the future because that can create some anxiety. There's some kind of brand new opportunity coming in that I think is going to just really turn your head here, okay, um, and take you in a whole new direction to build your financial future. You're at a four, right? Um, you're at a four emotionally and you're at a four financially, right? So there's an opportunity here to build a whole new foundation, solid foundation for your future um, with what it is that you really want to do. I feel definitely has to do with the stability of having, doing something that you really want to do in the world so you get the money coming in to, to, to pay the bills and do all that 
happy horseshit that we need to do, <laughs> right? Just to exist on this earth. Well, I'm rambling on at this point, though. I love you guys all so much. Please leave a comment below if this resonated for you. I'm always available. I do private readings, Reiki, healings, um, astrology readings. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And we'll see you in the next video. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Right,